this is a video I've been meaning to make for a hot minute. I want to talk about K-pop tours <laughs> because it's extremely frustrating. Um, for those of you who don't know, Everglow that just released this, one of my favorite releases of the entire year, has one of my favorite title tracks and b-sides I've ever heard, had to cancel some of their, um, some of their shows in LA and Denver and a couple other places due to low ticket sales because there's no interest. I did some digging and apparently they had been there like the last two years in a row and they're, I guess maybe they just squandered, you know, any, um, any and all interest. I don't know. But there are so many places else here in the States that could really use some really good K-pop concerts. I've, I've made it very clear, um, and I've even posted a video. I went to go see Purple Kiss when I went to go see the Bad Behavior uh, album, the BXX um, album uh, tour. And that was amazing. I would kill to see Everglow and see them perform Zombie. I would love to see this. But I don't really like to say very often where I'm from. But, you know, we saw Purple Kiss. We, you know, I saw Purple Kiss, I guess I should say, here in Salt Lake City. And it was packed to the gills. In fact, there was actually some kind of rumors going around that they probably needed a bigger venue. <sighs> there are 46 other states that they do not touch when it comes to tours. And it is infuriating because when they're like, oh, this group failed in the states. And it's like, because you go to the same place every single time. I am of the I am of the opinion that especially California does not care. <laughs> that might be a little bit bold to say. I'm sure there are there's a lot of uh, interest there, but I I've been part of a group now after that concert and let me tell you there are so many people that are so excited to be able to see a K-pop group that they will drive for days or fly for days to go see them and I know this I have a friend that I talk to it's the same in Europe I mean I'm trying to remember the last show that they had to go that they went to go see they had to go to I think Belgium or something like that to go see an, uh, an act and it's insanity when you're seeing like capitals of countries also being ignored from, you know, from these world tours. Most of Europe gets ignored. Most of the United States gets, gets ignored. There's the meme that, you know, <laughs> that they always say it's like, oh, here's the world tour. And it's like Asia and then like California and New York. I understand that like it has to be a, a place to be able to make money. But when there is so much enthusiasm for groups to come to places where they don't come very often. When, when Purple Kiss came to my city, they were the, also the last K-pop act to be here two or three years ago. Um, we had The Rose, which is more obviously of a K-rock group. And we are starving for it. We're starving for it. And it's frustrating when you see some of your favorite groups like Everglow having to cancel because they can't sell tickets in a place where they've been. I wanted to go see Dreamcatcher out in Denver. I can't afford it. I couldn't afford it. But, you know, if they made their way down Arizona or to, you know, Nevada even. Sometimes, like, I can swing Nevada sometimes. You gotta start exploring other places. It's frustrating. Like, how can you ignore so many places that 
are genuinely interested in seeing your group live. There is a very popular theme where if you can't make the big show, like the big venues, you go to many smaller venues. Because let's be real here, I as I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Creed shirt. I went to go see Creed live. That had twenty thousand people in attendance. You're telling me that when there is a group as big as let's say Blackpink, Twice, um, let's say BTS, EXO. Uh, stray kids, you don't think that they could muster up twelve to 20,000 of people that have, I know, hundreds of them that have driven out to California or New York so that they can see them? I, I was seeing caravans, caravans of people that were getting ready to go out and see stray kids in California. I saw those same caravans that had hundreds of people going out to KCON. They could just import some acts, send them to places that really are hungry for it. And let me tell you, <laughs> I was very, very proud of the Plurry here. When we had Purple Kiss show up, they provided them with food from their culture that they knew. Um, there's actually a pretty large uh, Asian um, population here. <laughs> and they were able to provide them with food from their country and made sure that they had the best accommodations possible so that they could feel at, at most at home. And <laughs> they were so grateful and excited this is the type of people that are dying for these artists to come. And most of the time they get completely, completely ignored. In fact, Leo Presents, I'm calling you out specifically, they put on Twitter right after that concert and said, hey, we're putting in a huge chain of artists, multiple artists, to come to the United States to tour. Where are some of these places that we should go? <laughs> So, of course, us doing what we do as a group, we got onto Twitter, or X, and all of us spammed and said, come to Salt Lake, come to Salt Lake. And they're like, oh, yes, absolutely. We were getting retweeted. Some of them were even, like, getting follows from these groups. Then they announced the tour. Guess what wasn't on there? Anything close to these cities. <sighs> it's just frustrating. Like, uh, there's a lot of people that save up their money to take vacations and they go and take a vacation and they go and see their favorite group and travel all over the globe to go see them. And some people, more like me, show support by buying physical copies. Um, it doesn't mean I don't want to go, but there is so many of us that cannot afford to take much time off of work because of you know, financial constraints. And I find it absolutely just frustrating that there is just not even a thought. It's something that needs to be thought about. It needs to change. It does. Like, I want to go. I want to go see Everglow. I would have paid to go get the VVIPs or whatever. I would have paid for that. I can't go out to California. I couldn't go out to California to see 17. A friend of mine was trying to get tickets and they were like thousands of dollars. I don't have thousands of dollars to go and dump there. And not to mention what it costs just to fly or drive there. It's, it's some, I, again, it's something that I think they need to think about. It's frustrating. It really is. And like I said, Europe is in the same position. There are lots of places that I know that could really, really stand to have a really good K-pop act go through and just tear through all of Europe. Nope. But hey, we do have California and New York, though. Even though now they can't even go there because there's so little enthusiasm. <laughs> anyway, 
This is my little rant for the day. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you for the next one.